The Julius House is brilliant. This is a fantastic Aurora Tea Garden mystery. It is the fourth film and also the fourth one that I've watched. And something I want to say is that it's definitely better to watch these films in order because there's something that would spoil the previous film if you saw this one first. I really don't want to give anything else away, but unlike the Garage Sale Mysteries, for example, which I've kind of kind of watched in order but did a bit of jumping around, there isn't really a strong continuity running through them. With this one, certainly with these early films, this does seem to be the case. So just worth bearing in mind that while I do thoroughly recommend this, and it's actually my favourite one so far, I recommend watching them in order. This one was released in 2016. It's directed by Terry Ingram, written by Tina Booth, based on the novels by Charlene Harris. And of course, it stars Candace Cameron Bray as Aurora. And we also have Yannick Bissonance, Martin, and Marlou Henner as uh, Aurora's mother. And I have to say, her mother wasn't my favourite person in this one. I didn't love her attitude. I understood her perspective, but I didn't love her attitude, but I'll say no more about that. The main narrative focuses on Aurora buying a house, beautiful, beautiful house, and it turns out that several years ago, the family went missing. Aurora didn't know this until she bought the house, but to be fair, I think had she known it beforehand, she probably would have paid more for the house. But when she moves in, she finds some evidence of some wrongdoing. I don't want to give away too much, but it becomes a, a potential murder investigation and they have to try and find out what happened to this family, where they went, because they just seemed to disappear. They went out one day to dinner, I think it was, and just never came home. And it seems like there are no clues. And I found this to be so compelling. I was desperate to know what was going on and I had no idea and there were a couple of twists in this that I did not see coming and I absolutely adored every second of it. I don't want to say too much more than that because I don't want to give away any more but if you like stories that are unpredictable, that are about missing people and with a, a great protagonist, I think Aurora is, is wonderful, slightly biased because I do love Candace Cameron Bure but I think Aurora is a, a brilliant character. You put all of that together in a film and it's just absolutely delightful. I loved it and I was devastated when it was finished because I thoroughly enjoyed the journey. Brilliant narrative, great pacing, very atmospheric. The house itself is beautiful. I don't know where the house is, the exterior, but if anybody knows where it is, please feel free to let me know. Just purely out of my own curiosity, I would quite like to know where that house is because it's stunning. And the rest of the narrative, once we move into the house and we start to explore the house with Aurora, it just seems to snowball from there. Well, it snowballs very quickly insofar as we keep finding out new things, but also there's so much that's held back until until it, until it can't be delayed any longer. And we get these great reveals at the perfect moments. And I absolutely loved it. Needless to say, I have nothing but praise for the Julius house. It's to date, my favourite Aurora Tea Garden mystery. I still have a considerable number left to go, but if they're anything like this, I know they're going to be amazing. But for now, this is definitely my favourite. If you haven't seen it, I thoroughly recommend it. But as I said, do watch at least the previous films first. Plus, the other films are just really great anyway. So needless to say... The Julia's House is a film that I thoroughly enjoyed. I loved every second of it and I definitely recommend it.